Hi guys and welcome to today's very special video. Finally we have an RTX 3000 series on PC Crazy YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about the all new RTX 3070 from Asus. This is the dual design, basically the model which has two fans and that's why probably it's dual. Now we're going to go with loads of different games today, uh, testing out the GPU, checking out the FPS, the temperatures and all the other benchmarks. So stay tuned because after the intro it's going to get interesting. Even though we have another disappointing box content, we have the graphic card that everybody was waiting for, even though uh, 3080 and 3090 are really an extreme and high-end graphic cards, we have 3070 right here, which is going to uh, show us uh, what we can get in the mid-range. So today we have some uh, key features, which are second gen ray tracing cores, third generation tensor cores, we have the PCI Express Generation 4, of course, Microsoft Direct X 12 Ultimate, 8 GB of GDDR6, we have NVIDIA DLSS, NVIDIA GeForce Experience, compatible with G-Sync, of course, uh, GPU Boost, game-ready drivers, Vulkan RT, API, OpenGL 4.6, you have the DisplayPort 1.4a and HDMI 2.1, HDCP 2.3 and we are ready. When we're talking about connectivity, you have two HDMI ports and three display ports. Now when it comes to the design of uh, the RTX 3070 Duo, uh, we have two huge fans with a smaller fan hub facilities, longer blades and a barrier ring that increases downward air pressure. Protective backplate which is always nice to have and it's a rigid backplate to prevent PCB flex and uh, trace damage. Uh, so it basically isn't just because of the design and the looks, it actually does protect PCB board from bending because we have a huge passive heatsink going and covering the whole graphic card. Uh, also I would like to mention that you have dual BIOS so you could uh, choose between quiet and performance BIOS with a hardware switch which is really nice and easily accessible because it's right next to two 8-pin connectors on the far right side and you have a software which you can tweak your performance with the GPU tweak too. Uh, I really like the design I really like to see how it actually lights up so first let's do a bit of a showcase of the graphic card in a build and then we're going to go into benchmarks Okay guys, so let's check out the results of the RTX 3070, in this case Asus Dual Graphic Card, which kind of does a really nice job comparing to the past generation. <laughs>
So, in Battlefield 5 on 4040p on ultra details, uh, RTX uh, 3070 scored 129 FPS, uh, 2070 Super 98.9 FPS and RTX 2080 Ti uh, 140.9 FPS which is really close to the RTX 2080 Ti and going to the Shadow of the Tomb Raider so 4K DirectX 12 46 FPS on 2080 Super 3070 55 and RTX 2080 Ti 60 FPS it's just amazing it just uh, in in some benches uh, as you will see when we go through other games you'll see that it uh, places above 2080 Super and below 2080 Ti and in some benches as you can see it goes even above the RTX 2080 Ti uh, now Shadow of Tomb Raider 1440p High details, uh, DirectX 12, uh, RTX 2080 Super 109 FPS, uh, while RTX 3070 has 89 and RTX 2080 Ti has 121 FPS. Uh, in this, uh, I honestly don't know what happened because in 4K it has more FPS than 2080 Super, and then we have the uh, 2K resolution, which is uh, 20 FPS lower than 2080 Super. Now, Control Remedy in 4K, RTX 2070 Super has 30 FPS, 2080 Super has 35 FPS, 3070 Super 39.5 FPS, and RTX 2080 Ti 41 FPS. And just to show you some other uh, games basically based on the RTX 3070, I can't compare the rest since I didn't have those games at the moment while benching. So uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided 4K 22.4 FPS, 1440p 45.1 FPS. Then we go to X, uh, For Honor on Extreme Details 4K 72.03 FPS. 1440p 119.35 fps and finally hitman 2 on ultra details 4k we had 49.1 fps and 1440p 79 fps uh, as you can see in all of these benchmarks well basically in all of these games it uh, kind of situates between the RTX 2080 Super and the RTX 2080 Ti. It even sometimes surpasses RTX 2080 Ti and surely gives a really nice impression on 4K. I would say this card is definitely, if you have a, a 2K resolution monitor with 165Hz refresh rate, RTX 3070 is just the perfect card for it and this uh, Asus GeForce RTX 3070 Duo really proves it uh, to have everything for those kind of, um, let's say, resolution. 4K is uh, more, I would say, for 3080 as I've seen other benches on other tech channels. Since unfortunately didn't have one for testing, otherwise I would definitely place it in the table for benches but as you can see it's quite a right um, I mean astonishing now of course we have to see the big navy in real-time benchmarks in games to see where do these RTX cards come from when we're taking into consideration performance and price and it will be definitely interesting to check that out so guys thank you for watching uh, the review and basically benchmarking the uh, Asus GeForce RTX 3070 uh, and well basically if you like the video don't forget to click the thumbs up button subscribe for future content and I'll see you in another one thank you and bye bye